Finally. Right. Finally. It's been what? How long is it? It's been nearly three years. We're coming up on three years yeah. since the last devlog. <laughs> Here's your devlog, guys. Here's your second devlog after three years of no devlog. But this is a more fun one. This is more authentic. Yeah. And it's live. That's a bonus. Yeah, so we can yap a lot. We might even read the live chat, which we haven't been doing at the minute. Um, yeah, qu questions get us busy, you know. Welcome to the Dark Disillusion devlog, guys. Woo! Woo, it didn't do anything. There we go. Initial ideas. First, we're going to talk about the initial ideas that led. This is level two we're talking yeah, about. This is VV. Yeah, VV. VV, okay. This is probably confusing, but I'm going to explain what this is. Now, the original idea that turned into the Screechers was I wanted to take the red light, green light uh, mechanic that you see used a lot, especially with the gold watchers, and turn it on its head. So instead of having to look at an enemy for them to stop, you'd look at them and they'd go, essentially. And the idea that I was originally thinking of, and this never left my brain really, this was never really going to happen, was this village, um, like an old-fashioned retro village, um, that would have these people, as you can see how AI has depicted it for me here, and they'd be like really common, they'd be like everywhere, all about the village, and you wouldn't be able to look at them, because if you look at them, they'd be really quick darting towards you and probably like screaming or something. Um, that did get cut though, because uh, when you think about it, looking at the floor all game, that, that, that's not good. That, that's not good, yeah. But I, I say that did get cut. It was really just an idea. It was never really going to happen anyway. Um, moving on. Now, that idea did get refined. Um, I was thinking of Medusa, how that's a similar way of doing a don't look at the enemy type mechanic. And that made me think of the movie Percy Jackson. Don't know if anyone's seen that, where you have Medusa in a garden center and you have a bunch of statues of the victims who look like they're just part of the garden center's... Um, stuff you can buy at the garden center and then that turned into the screecher which you can see everyone thinks it's based off the demogorgon it's actually based off this image here that's from the original jumanji film um and that turned into the screecher and i will say one interesting thing um that was the original that was thought about for vv in the planning days was the idea that the statues would be enemies as well they would be red light green light and it would sort of be this contrast that I think would have kind of been cool of like you have to look at the red light green light enemies and you can't look at the screechers uh, but that did get cut because it's level 2 that sounds a bit much um, and also it's a bit similar to gold watchers uh, moving on in fact should we have a little look at live chat yeah because like I mean we can close the poll can't we? let's close it close poll Woo! I thought wait let me move this glass because there's a glass in the way of the live chat um, they already said it, Freddy's Deception Chapter 2 isn't happening. Yeah. Yeah, that's not happening. Creators Doom, Dark Deception Creators Doom 2. Oh yeah, I saw a bit of this movie some days ago on the TV. I love the Percy Jackson movie, that's actually a genius idea. Um, that's why I thought they'd be, like, playing VV. Oh yes, Emojix thought they were red light, green light, because, I mean, they were teased quite a lot in the early days. The statues. Squid Game reference? I don't think so. Um, does Freddy's Deception Chapter 2 have to happen? It's not happening, I'm afraid. How tall is the enemy? I want something, the Screecher. It's covered up. I want a Screecher. We all want a Screecher. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is a child friendly stream. Um, development timeline. This will be basically the rest of the devlog. This will show you from beginning to end. Do you want to talk for a bit? As I've spoken, I for mean, ages. I'm not in here yet, so yeah, like, that's why I I don't want to talk about it because I can't add anything. Okay. So like, I would prefer you talk. Okay, I'll talk then. If you show me how to change the colors, yeah. Um, it's just that the furthest to the left slider, you can kind of work it out. The little knob. Um, I shouldn't say oh, that. That's sick. There you go. It's green now. All right. November 2021, as many of you will remember as when the demo of Dark Disillusion had just released. We began development on the second chapter. This consisted of starting fleshing out Zone 1 in the boss arena, which the boss arena was actually really early, as well as creating early versions of the Screechers and the Plant Traps. As you can see, you've got the Screecher with his old texture, the model stayed the same, and an old version of the Plant Trap, which you may recognise from the early teasers. At this time, the team consisted of Thingamajig as the director, environment and character artist, animator, musician and secondary programmer, and Ballisti as the lead programmer. So not Lysander. No. We had someone else. No. And you can see all the images here. It's like very early, the first month of development of what zone one look like and it's still recognizable today to a degree um now this is where it gets interesting because you might not recognize what you see on screen um december 2021 this month saw the creation of the first edition of zone two we had three versions of zone two 
so there's a lot you haven't seen for that zone. This area would see the most change out of any part of the game, although you may notice that part of this map was incorporated in the current zone too. During this month I also began work modelling the level 2 boss, as you'll see there, Tulips, and the old version of the automatons. There we have the old automaton model that you lot never saw. It was made back when uh, chapter three was level 3 was supposed to release with chapter 2, and it's awful. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, and then we have, I'll talk a bit more about the early zone 2, this original zone 2, as you can see from these early images, was um, a massive greenhouse basically, but it did get cut eventually because it was too repetitive, it was too similar to like, I'd compare it to like the repetitiveness of Stranger Sewers, um, it was kind of boring, I just felt like we could do better stuff with it, but there'll be more on that later. Um, February 2022, actually I'm going to have a little look at the live chat for a second. Um, is there already a new voice active chapter 3 or not? No. Green, old prototype, dang, uh, this is cool, blah blah blah. Why isn't Freddy's Deception Chapter 2 happening? We kind of talked about this. I mean, sure, we'll discuss it now, and that's like, we just, we've already said this, it's just like, we don't feel mo motivated to work on it, even though, like, you know, if we did it, it would pretty much be for the cloud. It wouldn't be because we like to do it, and we just don't have, so, like, because it's just... Uh, it's just Five Nights at Freddy's with Dark Deception, with Dark Disillusion, it's our game, it's our IDs, mm. you know? Well, more of your IDs, but like, clench together yeah, now, both. yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, and it just feels better to work on because it's your creation in a way. And that's why we prefer working on Dark Disillusion. And we know how much people love Dark Disillusion, so we want to bring that out first. And we don't want to bo work on both, because then everything is going to take ages, and you guys are not going to be, like, you know, you're going to be mad because nothing's coming out. So that's why we're not doing it. What you're saying about the ideas, like who comes up with what, I would say, I come up with, like, the base. Yeah. And then both of us yeah. flesh it out. Yeah. So in terms of ideas, we all come up with stuff. Yeah. I sort of, like, I just decide the basics of what will happen I mean, in the level. I mean, no, I would say, yeah, the base as well, but I've also, with level 3, I've, I think I've also given some ideas yeah, actually, implemented, so... So it's not all, not all of it is thought up by me, a lot of it is <laughs> Lysander here as well. Oh, we got some paragraphs in the live chat. Um, Zachary K says, as Little Shop of Horrors fan, I appreciate the parallels and references from the play movie in VV. That's why VV is my favourite so far. Yeah, that is true. Little Shop of Horrors is the obvious inspiration for the boss. I didn't actually talk about that. Um, we've got more about that. Um, wait, if you guys don't want to work on Freddy's Deception, is it allowed for someone else to work on the game so you can work on Dark Disillusion? Just, yeah, you can make... Uh, just don't use the name Freddy's Deception. Um... And don't market it as like Freddy's Deception 2 because you can make a Five Nights at Freddy's Dark Deception game. Yeah, but no, that's not our thing. That's Although not I think they might be partially talking about the idea of us giving it to someone else. To we're continue. not giving it to someone else. We don't trust other people. Yeah, I, I doubt that would happen. But yeah. Um, okay, we'll move on with the Q and A now, I suppose. Um, have I read this one yet? No, I haven't. Uh, February 2022. This month saw the creation of environments still seem in the game today, such as the inside of the garden center and previously teased sections of chapter 3. Like I said, this was the first bit made of chapter 3, which you will see more of later, um, back when it was supposed to release with chapter 2. The screecher texture also got an overhaul. However, the most prominent event during this month was Ballisti leaving the development team. This meant Dark Disillusion was now a solo project and would remain the case for just short of a year. Whoa! Woo, and that led the way for Lysander to join later. Um, June 2022. During this month, at this point, it was just a solo project, um, I gave the game its first major visual overhaul, mostly because Lysander taught me that having a bunch of lights is bad for optimization. Um, because that was back when we were working on Freddy's Deception together, um, with more optimised and realistic lighting throughout the level, although this still can't compare to the lighting and optimization improvements which would come to the project later. This month also saw a very, very early version of the Tulips boss fight come to life, as well as the first rendition of the Husk Lands. So as you can see there, we had um, this old version of the boss, which more or less was the same mesh, same music, same animations, but the programming well, it was my programming, so it wasn't the best. Um, just think demo of Dark Disillusion. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, the boss has been around since June 2022. It's quite old. 
and you can see the first rendition of the husk lands that was actually originally made you can kind of see the similar shape from where you spawn um, that was originally made for the menu but the husk lands was still planned at that time to look like that um, and yeah I think that's all to talk about for that slide I'll have a little glance again at the thing um, what's the new power in chapter 3? I love Dark Disillusion. Is the boss very tall? Maybe. Is Fart Piss Illusion chapter something when? Um, October 2022. This month, like I was talking about earlier, I decided to completely scrap and redesign Zone 2 to be much closer to what it is today. This was because I found the old version to be boring and repetitive and comparable to Stranger Sewers. Already talked about that. Now this was the second version. This wasn't the final version, even though what you see probably looks very familiar. Because the, the second version was a dome, like the final version in the front half. But the dome spread across all where like, the laboratories are now and to the back section. It was a gigantic dome. Even though the front part is the same as it was back then, um, it was inspired by the Eden Project. Um, cause I, it was, I saw a poster of the Eden Project at my old school, and that was what I thought I could do something like that for Zone 2 instead of what there is now, which is boring. Um, yeah, I say there, this new was inspired by the Eden Project and consisted of a jungle like environment in Large Glass Dome. However, it still wouldn't end up being the final version. Um, oh, do you want to talk now, Lysander? Yes, okay. So, December of 2022, this month saw the biggest leap of Dark Disillusion when Lysander joined Dark Disillusion as the programmer. He began by overhauling the game's code and lighting completely and bringing it to the standards you see today. This month, this month also saw the creation of the Wanderers and the start of the new ball ballroom, as well as the... M <laughs> you it's want me to talk for a bit? No, no, no. no. I mean... Do you want to add on mm, whatever? As well as the mom's main edition, the Husk Lands, which was the first environment Thingamajig and Lysander created together from the ground up. Yes. What do you want to say on that? Um. Ooh, I don't know. Well, I'll talk about more about the Wanderers in the next slide. Um, but I mean, in terms of the the Husk Lands, the Husk Lands really came from an idea of wanting to have a more interesting introduction to Dark Disillusion, and I thought about expanding having a journey to the ballroom instead of just immediately being there and I thought about expanding like the idea of like an area outside of Malik's domain um, because that would make more sense for the ballroom and that's where the idea from the Husklands grew and it, it was very much a joint effort creating the Husklands because um, I sort of came up with the base ideas and I had like it was largely like these temples and like the fire like you see but then um, you also recognise all like the city sections. That was all Lysander's idea, and I admit at first I was a bit sceptical about it, but it looks way better now than it would have otherwise. So that was very much a joint effort to make that. And if I, mean, I, I can, I can kind of explain why I came up with that idea. It's mostly inspired by I don't know if you guys ever played the game, but it's Metal Hellsinger, and it has this like when I first saw like the reds the red skies and stuff and I really thought of that game because like it's kind of it kind of lo looks like hell but it isn't really so I wanted to take my own spin to see it as a more of a transition zone between you know the the dimensions between where Beerus and Malak are and the modern world if you could say so where you spawn in is between these big cities you know the modern world and as you go further you progress to this more old like um, how do you say it torn down um, world of like ancient buildings and stuff so pretty much you going in maybe back in time to another dimension you know yeah. really leaving that modern age behind that's kind of where it came from I <laughs> you were very skeptical <laughs> about it but, um, but it looks great now. yeah I think it looks great now and it really like adds into the like confusion you have which I think is a good thing because the opening of Dark Disillusion was its kind of meant to be confusing kind of like you know shocking in a way definitely that's uh so that's that's why kind of why i made it like very special yeah. yeah and now i think it looks amazing it does all right on to the next slide talking more about the wanderers old wanderer concept um this was the first concept image for the wanderers at this point they weren't planned to work how they do now where you go and collect all the pieces right i mean it's a pretty crude drawing but it gives you an idea of what they were originally going to look like um, originally, it was going to be um, like a combat-based system where you'd have to fight waves and waves of these enemies, which would have been in the place of the Wanderers. Back when I was thinking about the different items, what was it? <laughs> Emojix, what the fuck are you saying? What's he bro? saying? I look like that. Oh, is this Emojix face reveal? No way. 
Um, so yeah, back when I was thinking about ways to add a more interesting opening to the game and I thought of the Husklands originally, this was the idea for the Wanderers. I'll have a little look at the live chat now. How many soundtracks are there in chapter? A lot. Um, I look like that? Yes, amazing. Uh, so I guess the Husklands is like a place lost in time. I mean, I wouldn't take the time travelling, like, so literally. It's more... It's more... How to say it? Just like the idea of uh, just yeah. leaving behind modern time. That's pretty much it. It's not really going back in time. That's not. Really it's more like trying to get that feeling in b less literal as you're actually time traveling. Where you are, I would say, in a dimension of you know, Beersomatic, there is not really that much of a concept of time. I would mm, say yeah. it's a different. It's just like you're isolated from the modern world. Uh, maybe I kind of misspoke with the time thing. That's too. That's too technical. <laughs> mm. It's more of the idea. You're not time traveling, but yeah, it, it just gives that idea. Um, do you want to read this or should I? I mean, I can read it. My, maybe try to practice my English. Okay, so February of 2023, this one saw uh, a remodel of the follower to what is seen in game today. As well as this, new ballroom was mostly complete in this month, and work continued in creating the second edition of Vengeful Vegetation Zone Two. You wanna add, I mean, this is pretty straightforward, I would say. Oh, yeah. It's mostly just progress, you know, into the things. Now, I would say, you see the things lining up, you know. Yeah. That's it. And I mean, if you look at the dome in the photos, you'll probably notice it's a lot bigger than what you've seen in um, yeah. <laughs> the current version. Shall I take this one? Yeah, take this one. June 2023. This month, we focused on enhancing Cultist Carnage and replacing most of the map with new meshes as well as introducing new AI and entire new sections of gameplay. Zone 2 also continued to grow at this time, and you'll notice a whole new section of the dome that you haven't seen before, because this was like the part that got cropped off when we made it smaller. Also, in terms of Cultist Carnage, um, I sort of just went back and just replaced a lot of the meshes, um, like, keeping them lined up. I know Lysander also did a lot of work on improving it. Yeah, just lighting-wise, uh, optimization-wise, that was pretty painful, I would say, but... It, it, it's really smooth now. I think it's still like the best running uh, level you can play, yeah. And also I'd add, in terms of when we added new gameplay sections, which I would add as like the escape area, like the whole new area of the map, that obviously came from, if you lot remember the demo, you'll remember the old spiral staircase that you escaped up. It was really annoying to walk up, and I just thought we could do something better, you know, we could extend it, have a proper escape sequence, and then we had a much bigger spiral staircase. <laughs> and that snake's got an interesting story. Shall I say the snake story? Yeah. Okay, well, um, at one point, um, a very long time ago, we're talking like nearly back when the demo was released, I was working with another guy um, to look at creating an online version of Dark Deception, Dark Disillusion, similar to Monsters and Mortals, um, and that snake was going to be the boss in Cultist Carnage. Um, however, I did eventually sort of give up on that because of like mostly creative differences with like the way that the game was going, and it never really got that far through anyway. Um, I think that's all for this slide. Uh, July 2023, I think, is your turn. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, so July of 2023 saw the creation of the third and fourth phase of the boss fight, along with their respective models. As well as this was also when the father received his remodel. I mean, that's... Yeah. Mm. It's really straightforward. I mean, do you want to say anything about the boss design? I mean, um, genuine how the second boss head came up. Well, actually, one interesting fact, originally, the boss was always planned to have two heads, um, mostly coming from the pun of tulips to two lips, and having two pairs of lips. And you may notice the current boss doesn't have two pairs of lips. Originally, both of the heads were the same as the first head. Um, so it would have looked just like a mirrored version of what you see down there if you cut off the fancy second head to appear. Um, and then I think the two lips pun works a bit better when they've both got lips, but uh, you still get it. Also, credit to Artisap in the chat, he came up with the two lips pun. Also, oh, you want to say something? Thanks for the donation, Kai's, Kai's Pro Gamer. We love you! Wait, oh, you got a question. Well, let's answer that. Why did you change the running in chapter one? What do you mean with... Oh, wait, the running. Huh? The running the animation? Well, if you're talking about the running animation for the characters, they all got remodels, so that's why they got changed. It might be because I know some people liked the old animation, it's oh, kind of funny. Yeah, no, but it didn't work on the new models. It got remodeled. Um, I'm assuming you're not talking about the player running, because that just is better now. Um, yeah. <laughs> also, that image, the, the, new, the new plant, the, the second plant head, that 
I came up with that design by Google searching scary plant and finding that image um, that you see there and that's what inspired it. So it's just me Google searching scary plant. Um, November, this month we decided to once again change zone 2. This was because the massive open dome of the second edition was causing a strain on performance. Um, we instead opted to crop the dome to just the front half and replace the back half with a new laboratory section as well as repurposing some of the first rendition of Zone 2. And in that bottom uh, corner photo you can get an idea of the old Zone 2, how big the dome was. I do also think it would have been, it's better as well because it's more diverse now which means it's more fun in the current version. Um, Way less soul shards, it was like 800 or something. It was pretty stupid. Um, but yeah, I feel like... It, it was definitely I mean, a good decision. Yeah, we kind of... I don't know what to say, really. It's just like... I really like how we incorporated the old, older Zone 2. Oh yeah, of course, because old Zone 2 is in there as well. You may recognise the first thing we sent, we showed of Zone 2. You can see both the side rooms were of that old Zone 2. And also, I feel like it did have potential, so it's nice it got reused. Yeah. The end. Oh, that, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's around. the devlog, guys. So I guess back to Q&A, or... Do we? Or not back to Do you guys want to yet. see something? something Shall I put a poll in chat?